The saying goes, new year, new me, but rather, it's a revived me. That's my anthem this year. Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I make videos on anything art related, a little bit of this and that, and if that speaks to you, consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about setting some general art goals and intentions for the new year, 2023. This list of goals that I've come up with is based on things that I've lacked the last year. Reviving my art production from the past two years. I hope that this video inspires you and you're able to set your own goals and intentions for this new year. I invite you to paint with me, pick up your favorite art supplies, and let's create together. There's so much art goodness and positivity in this video. Let's get started. Before I start painting, I would like to announce the medium I'm using. This is the Rosa Gallery watercolor in their romantic set. So this is my first time trying this palette and by the end of the video I'll let you know what I think about this palette. I would like to share some goals that I intend to achieve this year. I am sharing these because maybe someone will find it helpful. Also, if you would like to share, please share some of yours. We all can learn from each other. I am actually moving into a new sketchbook today, so this is the start of the sketchbook and I'll leave the information in the description. For my first goal, it's going to be clean up my art room as I go. Oh, how I have struggled with this one over the years. I am not naturally one to be organized. I have to do research and um, experience a setup by trial and error because my brain cannot manage to keep my materials in order. At this point, I really do like the setup of my art room. So my plan is to clean up as I go. Once I'm done with something, I need to put it back. So I need to develop this new habit. Now, I have been practicing this idea from time to time this year, and I feel like I'm more motivated to work in a tidy space. Plus, I feel less anxious. Can anyone relate? Let me know down in the comments if that makes sense to you, because I really feel like it is a thing. Tidy space, less stress. Okay, so let's move on to goal number two. Number two would be to do more research and to journal it. I really want to read more instructional books on art. I am always hungry to learn more and beef up my artistic toolkit. You can never have enough information. You just need to digest a little bit at a time. From my experience, it is key not to overload yourself with too much information at a time, this can become overwhelming. So it's best to take it step by step. And so that's critical for setting yourself up for success. That is, take it a little bit at a time. I want to write down in my art journal short-term goals of books that I want to read and take notes of my impressions, what I liked, what I've learned, kind of like a book report. I just love to geek out on stuff like that. All right, so let's move on to goal number three, and that is spend more time with my new art supplies. I want to slow down on the buying more supplies. I am not going to say that I won't buy any more, but I want to do more of a low buy this year. So my plan is if I do a low buy, I can focus on the, the new materials that I have picked up. I want to analyze the performance of the materials, the supplies, and I want to give the materials the attention they deserve. <laughs> I would like to start a new series on my channel and that would be my favorite art supplies of the month. So essentially, I would like to share with you what art supplies I've been using and loving for that month. All right, so goal number four is to improve my watercolor skills. So when I put a poll for this video out on my community tab on YouTube, I was actually happy that the majority voted on watercolor because this is a great way to start this goal is by using watercolor. Now I did buy a lot of watercolor this year because I do like it, but I want to improve my skills with it. And I encourage you to find a medium that you like, but you want to improve on. Let's do it together. I'd like to share a little bit of background about myself that I haven't mentioned. I do have my art degree 
and um, but I, I do want to mention that I did not go to art school. I have a bachelor's in art and focus on education. So after I received my bachelor's degree, I went in and got my teaching credential. And so during my college experience, I did not take any watercolor classes because actually there were none were offered. Um, but my concentration is on drawing and painting. Funny enough, no watercolor classes. All my professors had us focus on was using oil paints. And um, I know the fundamentals, I know how to use it, but I just need to have more time to become acquainted with the medium. So watercolor has, has not been my main focus when I paint. However, I want to incorporate it a lot more with my sketchbooking and painting process. All right, so the next goal, number five, is getting back to oil painting. Now, I would encourage you to find something that you have done in the past and you've neglected recently and focus on that because oil painting does bring me joy. So as I mentioned in the previous goal that I was trained with oil paint, I will say that I do love to use oil paint. And last year, I only did one oil painting piece, so I sure do miss it. I'm really itching to take some of my sketchbook entries and put them to canvas. So I really want to balance my sketchbook practices with my canvas pieces because I really feel that sketchbooking is an important part of my art journey and keeping my skills nice and up to par, so to speak. Furthermore, I am definitely going to create more than one oil painting piece this new year. So I plan on doing lots of painting, watercolor and oil paint. Moving on to goal number six, I want to do more plain air painting or just plain air in general, drawing or painting, doesn't matter. This is something that I've been wanting to do for so long and now is the time, I'm just gonna do it. Draw and paint from life is always a great practice for any artist. And I do it from time to time, but I want to be more intentional with it and, and do it more often. There's lots of beautiful places anywhere you go, outside, in your house, anywhere. For my goal number seven, the next one, I want to make stickers of some of my artwork. This is another thing that I've been wanting to do for so long, and I'm just going to do it whether I sell it or not, and it just is for my own use, I'm just going to do this. I love collecting stickers. It's something that I've done since I was a little kid, and why not have some of my own, of my own artwork? That would be really neat. All right, so my last goal, number eight, is to be present with my artwork. Now, we all have busy schedules, and we need to find time to unwind. So find time with my busy schedule and just make it happen. Make the artwork happen, but make it clear in my mind that it is an experience that I'm grateful for doing. Lean into my artwork and the experience. Really be thankful for my health to do the practice of making artwork and don't take that for granted because every day is not promised. So furthermore, really be thankful for my health to do the practice, don't take it for granted. Each day with your practice is truly a blessing. So that's why I came up with the name for my channel, Art is Therapy, because I find making artwork very therapeutic. And I truly hope that you feel the same way that art is therapeutic for you, because it really is. It can be, if you want it to be. So those were my eight goals and intentions for this year. I hope you found them helpful. And as I mentioned before, please share your ideas for any goals that you might have that are different from what I've mentioned. All right, so I would quickly like to talk about the watercolors that I use, Rosa Gallery, the romantic set. And in a nutshell, they're great. 
I really enjoyed them. They were easy to use, easy to rewet. The pigmentation was strong and I was able to layer them with no problem. The colors stayed pure. There wasn't any yucky colors as I mixed them together all around. I would definitely recommend this set and maybe in the future when I run low on this palette, I would definitely buy another set. So here is the end reveal. I wrote a little message to encourage myself in my sketchbook and it says, tend to your creative garden and watch it bloom. You will transform and fly. And at the bottom, I wrote down the watercolor that I used for this piece. So I put Rosa Gallery Romantic Sets and then I put a date for the start of the sketchbook and then I'll write in when I finish it. Okay, here's a bonus goal. So I've decided that in this sketchbook, I want to use every single new palette of watercolor that I recently purchased and I'm gonna label it so I know how that watercolor performs. All right guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. And I am looking forward to making lots and lots of artwork this new year. I'm super pumped and excited, enthusiastic. And I hope that this video is helpful to you. Have a wonderful and creative day. I'll see you next time.